Well, good evening. Kirk Euler back with you here from the free state of Idaho, where, as you might be able to tell, I was able to get a haircut. Now, why did I get my haircut here in Idaho as opposed to back home in California? Well, because when I went in in California, they said I had to wear a mask in order to get my haircut. And knowing that I was taking a trip up here to Idaho, I thought, well, let me check in with the folks up there. And they said, no, you don't have to wear a mask. And you know what that, that rebellion, that disregard for the science associated with masks, you know what that's resulted up in up here in the free state of Idaho? They have half the number of confirmed cases that we have in California. They have half the deaths that we have in California, per 100,000 resident, okay? Mind you, this is not total population. Per 100,000 apples to apples, Idaho has half the number of confirmed cases per 100,000 residents, even though they're testing. They have half the deaths per 100,000 that we have in California, half shut down later, opened up earlier, no mask requirement, half the confirmed cases, half the deaths. Was it really all worth it? While we contemplate that, here's one little thing. I enjoyed a lovely evening out at a restaurant, actually a bar, a bar, bars are open up here, at a bar, with a young man who used to work for Placer County, who's now living up here. He moved his family up here about uh, three, three years ago now, two years ago. And loving it up here, had a nice evening with him, chatting with him. And you know what was so refreshing? He and I didn't spend the entire evening talking about what's wrong with America. We spent the evening talking about what's right with America. And so I encourage you, as you talk with your kids, as they're asking questions and they're responding to what we see on the news, take a minute, ask them for everything that you are saying about what's wrong, and there's plenty wrong, there's plenty we need to fix. For everything that you're saying about what's wrong with America, tell me something that's right with America. Tell me something we've done right, where, where we've created opportunities for individuals that historically didn't have opportunities, where we've liberated a people, where we went to war with ourselves to liberate people. Yeah, we still have work to do. But stop focusing on just what's wrong with this country and let's start talking about what's right because we're doing so much so well that the rest of the world just envies. That's the message our kids need to hear. So I encourage you, take that positive message to your kids at the dinner table, to your families, to your friends. Take that positive message because we will get through this. We will take an opportunity to come out stronger on the other side as long as we continue to focus about what is right with America. God bless you.